this sculpture was commissioned a very long time ago, 33 years ago. I went to Carrara and made it in the quarries there and brought it back to Bristol and it went to the centre of Bristol. But then it was moved when the company who owned it moved the headquarters by Parkway railway station. And it spent a few years out there in, in the wilderness effectively. Thanks to the Stone Festival, it's been noticed and brought back and this is a fantastic place for it, I, I'm delighted. Bonjour, madame, monsieur. Today we welcome to the heart of Bristol uh, an important piece of sculpture by John Main, a sculptor who's also born in Bristol. And this event in inaugurates uh, the Festival of Stone. Uh, but it is a French man who uh, inspired our festival, Laurent Donidieu, who is a sculptor in southern France. Uh, unfortunately, he can't be here today. Um, je suis très honoré vous présentez Madame Annie Burnside, Consul Honoré de France, uh, Bristol. Also, uh, Monsieur Olivier Chambard, Consul General de France, au Uni. Monsieur Oliver Toulez, Consul General à Lyon. John Main, sculptor. John. Get the pain over this. <laughs> Very nice to see everybody here. I, I, I just feel this should be a long list of thank yous. Mike has said thank you to many people who have been involved. But it's, it's very moving. The last time I saw this sculpture looking as free and, and uh, energetic in a way as it is out there if you're down there today it was when I, when I made it in Italy and that was 33 years ago and you don't really have very many chunks of 33 years in your life to sort of do these little exercises so this is obviously quite a, an emotional day for me but the fact that it's not just that length of time but Bristol is also terribly important because 33 years before I made this sculpture I was born in Bristol <laughs> or thereabouts and um, it's a long story and it is fantastic to be back here. Um, I, I love the location of, of the work here. I think it was a, a move of genius to bring Harborside, uh, to bring the M Shed, the museum here to, to Harborside because, um, you know, it, I've seen it in the last few days, it's so active, there's so much energy, but it's also in with the real history, the real artifacts and the heart of Bristol. And as a sculptor, these things matter. You, you, if you put work in public, you don't just sort of think, oh, well, you know, plonk it down. You do think what the place is about and how it will add to the place and articulate what happens in the place. Well, this is, was a slightly different story. I'd been in the Yorkshire Sculpture Park for a couple of years as, as a fellow when it first started. And towards the end of that time, Sun Life, the insurance company as was, um, had a new headquarters in Lewins Mead and they wanted a sculpture for it and Henry Moore was asked if he would make a piece for it and they had a courtyard which you probably all know which is a little bit enclosed and Moore said no would you like your would you like to spend your life in the shadows because there was no light there but I realized that by moving out onto the apron of the building you could capture the light and I devised this maquette at that time, made it at the Yorkshire Sculpture Park from a piece of Portland stone, and designed it to trap 
the light that shone on the outside of the building. Well, it's not just a formal device. It's part of what, what I'd like sculpture to do, which is to work as the interface between one culture and another, a cathedral and its precinct and the town or a, a company or whatever, and break, break down barriers. I think that's what's happening here. But it's important for that for work to, to have a role to do. So that's all sort of the part of the, the business of making sculpture which isn't in the gallery. Um, so and anyway, I, this is really all to do with Mike and his extraordinary initiative. I, did, I didn't know Mike before. He just phoned out of the blue and said, We've, we're having this festival. I think it's going to be a rip-roaring success. He's got lots of people. Wherever I go, people are saying, have you heard of the Stone Festival in Bristol? I said, oh, yes, very good. And the, I think there are going to be a lot of young people. I think there are going to be a lot of people who are a, a, with boundless enthusiasm. I think it'll be about the future. Thank you very much indeed for coming. Thank you. Well, I just wanted to say a very few words to wish the uh, Festival of Stone every success. And I'm delighted, of course, that there is this strong French connection with a small village, I gather, Montagu de Quercy, in the southwest of France, which was an inspiration for Mike to start an event similar here. Over the period of the festival, it can act as a kind of marker, it's a big chunk of rock, and it, I hope it will inspire lots of people to do completely different things with stone. Mm -hmm.